invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. A year ago, when Luigi Basco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, Chicago is a wonderful city. But there's one thing not so good about the biggest city. Nobody is know each other. In our little town of Castle Mare, I'm a walk down the street and a smile, everybody is a smile back. Over here, if I'm a walk in the street and a smile, everybody is a think I'm a crazy. <laughs> a smaller town like ours, maybe it's not to have an advantage of a big city like a Chicago. But it's just so nice. You say hello to everybody, even to a goat. And if it's a lady goatee, you take off your hat. <laughs> Over here, I'm a once to take off of my hat to stand on the street and a smile and a what's to happen. In a half hour, I'm a collector 45 cents. <laughs> Travel over here, Mamma Mia. People is always in a big rush. Rush, rush, rush. They even got the one hour special for rushing. Is it called the rush hour? <laughs> This is for the people who forgot to rush during the daytime so they get the one more chance to catch up at the night. <laughs> Everywhere signs is a tell of people to hurry up and save a time. Get to your hair cut in a 15 minutes. Get a car washed in a 12 minutes. Eat the busy bee lunch in a 10 minutes. And yesterday, I'm going to see cemetery advertisement that to say, make a down payment and now, why wait? <laughs> You know, Mamma Mia, I think it would be wonderful if all of a sudden everybody is here is a stop rushing around for one minute. And I say hello to the fellow standing next to him. Well, it's no time now for dreaming, Mamma Mia, because it's a time for me to go to my night school class, so I'm going to finish this letter later. <laughs> All right, Flash, Flash, let's have some quiet. Fine. I'll call the roll now. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwood? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Mr. Schultz, you're here. Why don't you say here? I just want to break the monotony. <laughs> all right, Mr. Schultz, all right, enough of that. Now, class, before we begin our lesson, I think you might be interested in knowing that North Halstead Street, the very street where our school is located, will be 50 years old this week. Well, what do you know? North the Halstead Street? That's where I got to my store. And that's where Pasquale has got his spaghetti palace. Yes, and Mr. Schultz has his delicatessen store there. <laughs> now, class, a little arithmetic. If the street was begun 50 years ago, who can tell me the exact year? I know, I know, I know. Teacher, I know. Call on me, I know. Him. Very good. Mr. Schultz, the rest of the class knows the answer. Why don't you? Because it is my great enjoyment in life to make other people look smarter. Miss <laughs> Paulding, I raise my hand first. Please, let me answer. There he goes, the quiz kid with wrinkles. <laughs> All right, Mr. Olson. Halstead Street was begun 50 years ago. It's 1949 now. What year would that be? 1899. Marked down for 1900. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please pay attention and learn something. The 1890s were important years in our nation's progress. You, you bet you. The, the automobile was invented in 1893. Well, that's very good, Mr. Olson. Now, besides the automobile, does anyone know another invention of the 1890s? Yeah, Milan is 1890, French. <laughs> no, no, no. Mr. Basco? Mr. Basco? Huh? You seem to be engrossed in something. Miss Spaulding, 
You tell us before that the North the Halstead Estate is going to be 50 years old this week? Yes, that's right. Miss Spaulding, this city is so big. Must be there's not a dozen of people on North Halstead Estate who know each other. Imagine. People living right next to each other, and they're strangers. Luigi, that's very true. What are you getting at, Mr. Basco? I was thinking, why we don't have a big block party? And everybody is to come out and eat and a dance and a sing and get to know each other and be friends. I jump in your mini, Luigi. That was a wonderful idea. Luigi, you deserve credit. Ah, Luigi, my friend, you got a brain that's so smart it should be in a bottle. <laughs> Love black parties with the colored lights strung across the street, people dancing all night. <laughs> I remember once our district alderman gave a black party, and you should have seen. Oh, the finest food was passed around like hotcakes, and the champagne flowed like water. But a short that sounds expensive. Hotcakes and water are expensive. <laughs> Look, Luigi, don't worry about expense. Smile. For my own delegatessen, I will donate food. And Pasquale, that sheepskate, he's going to donate too. Oh. And I'll string up the lights and take care of all the decorations. Uh, and by golly, I will go around and, and get the whole neighborhood. Well, I think the best way to handle this is to form a committee. Oh, Miss Barton, you hit the hammer right on the thumb. <laughs> We're going to have a black party committee meeting right after class, and everything's going to be arranged. Sure, sir. I think you're wonderful. Oh, stop, Luigi. <laughs> this was all your idea, and if any credit must be handed out, yes, sir. I want you to hand it to me. <laughs> My friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Papa Squally, something wonderful has happened. I'm so happy I feel like a singing. What's a happen? Are you Uncle Pietro's a goat to die and leave you Uncle Pietro? <laughs> no, no Pasquale, it's better than that. I explain. This Tuesday night, Hollister Street is going to have a birthday party and... Stop! The... Huh? What do you talk? A street? Is he going to have a birthday? That's what I said. Stop. <laughs> Somebody to jump as a tracks and it ain't the super chief. <laughs> but a Pasquale... I know, I know. Street, is he going to have a birthday and instead of burning the candles, is he going to burn a lamppost? <laughs> Pasquale, the way you're talking, you make me... Sure, sure. I can adjust the hair to party now. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm a jump on my tracks, too. But, well, let me explain to you. Miss Spaulding was telling us today how our street was started 50 years ago. Oh. So I say, why we don't have a black party and a celebrate? Oh, then is the real thing. That's what I'm telling you. Olsen is telling all the people, we're going to get the music. Horowitz is going to put up at the lights. And Schultz is ahead of the committee. Oh, they're the smart, delicate of the man. Already he's to take over, huh? <laughs> Luigi, if you get a such idea, why do you go to everybody else when you should have come to meet a fellow that's to bring you from the other country? <laughs> After all, I'm the most respectable man here. Don't you know I'm ahead of the block? <laughs> That's right, Pasquale. I should have come to you. You're the real black ahead. Sure. <laughs> it's a funny thing. And when I'm say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> Pasquale, I hope you're not mad. Because we figure you're going to give a lot of food for the party. Food for the party? Uh-huh. Well, uh, uh, sure, Luigi, sure. Not only am I going to give her food, but I'm going to see it's going to be nice music. People should dance. Oh, Pasquale, you going to hire an orchestra? No, an organ. Oh, organ? Pasquale, what is it the organ going to play? Here comes the bride for my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> huh? Who is she going to marry? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my son. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. Goodbye, Papa. <laughs> All right. 
right there, you little fool. You know, Mary Rosa, you know what kind of food I'm going to give? Strong heart to dog a fool. <laughs> you get a nothing. I'm going to give a food or you know got a party. You're sitting around like a bunch of Republicans. <laughs> But for Squally, the people is already invited, and I'm already promised. Promise, a promise, a promise. Only promise I'm interested in is when you sing it to Rosa. Oh, promise to me. <laughs> oh, Pasquale. Luigi, everything is all arranged. <laughs> Schultz, Schultz, we got a no party. Pasquale is a no give a food unless I'm a Mary Rosa. Ah, him. Hello, Schultz. <laughs> What's the broad of you here? A stork, and what brought you here, I believe, sir? <laughs> Wait a minute, to Mr. Delicatessen, a man. Why are you flying off at the handlebars? Because all of you are taking advantage of my friend, the stupid little dumb cop. <laughs> There's a show, see, you're making me blush. Luigi, you stay out of here. Yeah, shut up. Don't concern you. Shut up. <laughs> Don't you dare tell him to shut up. <laughs> if anybody should tell him to shut up, I'm his friend. I'm going to tell him to shut up. <laughs> Luigi, who you want to should tell you to shut up? I'm going to want to start a fight. I'm going to shut up in myself. <laughs> uh, Luigi, why are you wasting your time with a stupid block party? Give him my Rosa a ring, and get him married, have a 10 or 15 of bambinas, and raise you on a block. <laughs> Listen, Pasquale, you stop playing ring around the rosa. Are you giving it food for the party or not? Absolutely not. Mr. Delicatessen, man, I'm leaving that pleasure to you. You can give all of the food you want. Oh, a smart cop, huh? Well, if that's the case, I'm giving nothing, not even one stitch of salami. Oh, oh sure, sure, what are you saying? Just because of Pasquale is acting like that... You got to act the same way? That's right. If he's going to act like a chuck ass, I'm going to prove to him I'm twice the chuck ass he'll ever be. <laughs> no use to talk anymore. Oh, no, Schultze. Schultze, please, don't go. I was going to give 500 Wiener schnitzels, but after seeing the way Pasquale acts, I wouldn't even give one schnitzel. <laughs> Goodbye. He's as wife to the jackass I am, eh? Got to get up early in the morning to do that. <laughs> hey, Luigi. Come on, and we get down to Dave's radio shop where we watch the television in the wind, eh? They got a picture to cheer you up. Hop along, Cassidy. <laughs> hey, Luigi. You want a life to save? Is your favorite flavor orange? <laughs> Listen, Luigi, forget this block of party idea about people are talking to each other and being friends. You see anybody worrying about you? In America, you worry about yourself. But just to make it a buck, keep your nose in your own play. Hey, Luigi. Ah. Here, Luigi. Use my handkerchief. <laughs> just the way you are! <laughs> Just a moment, but first, a delightful, fancy-free, screwball comedy as refreshing as the first warm winds of May is tomorrow night's choice on CBS Lux Radio Theater. John Lund and Wanda Hendricks will come to the CBS microphones to reenact their original motion picture roles in the hilarious Miss Tatlock's Millions, the tale of a young man who finds out for himself that love is more valuable than money. Be sure to be around tomorrow night when John Lund and Wanda Hendricks star on most of these same stations in Miss Tatlock's Millions as Lux presents Hollywood. And now for the second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And I saw Mamma Mia... I was up all the night to warn her because the Schultz and the Pasquale is a no give a food for the block party. I'm going to have the heart to disappoint all of the people who's going to come to the party, so first I think maybe I should have used all of my money to buy the food. But it's not going to be enough. Three hamburgers. <laughs> More than anything, 
I'm a like a Schultz and a Pasquale should have be friends again. And a this a party should be a success. If only I'm a have a money to buy a food. Mama me, I'm a got a so much money troubles and a nobody to tell them to. Then I'm a think. The bank. Sure. They got a one a girl there. Just to listen to you. Because over her is a sign that's to say, tell her. <laughs> So I'm going to go right now to the bank and tell her. Mr. Basco, I'm Mr. Hudson, manager of this bank. The teller informs me you're interested in obtaining a loan. Is that right? That's right. You see, I'm got a big problem. And well, how much do you want? How much do you got? <laughs> Mr. Basco, our bank has assets of over $3 million. I'm going to want that much. But just how much were you thinking of borrowing? Well, uh, let me see. We should have at least uh, two, three hundred pounds of a bologna and the salami and... What? Three hundred pounds of spaghetti. Not to count on the meatballs. Also, 50 pies, a huckleberry, pumpkin, and a lemon. No, lemon is no good. Yes, yes, Mr. Basco. Also, I think uh, 200 pickles will be enough. Mr. Hudson, how many slices do you get from a pickle? Well, I don't know. I think my wife gets four. Oh, she slices a big. I'm going to get eight slices. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 200 pickles is more than enough. Now, how much do you think is it going to cost for bread to feed so many people? Well, what kind of bread are you getting? White rye or pumpernickel? Any kind of you got. Well, we've got them all. Well, all right. Then. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll take them all. Well, uh, that should cost... Uh, oh, Mr. Basco. <laughs> What's this loan for? It's for a party. You're borrowing money to make a party? This party is not for me. It's a black party. Hollister Street is going to be 50 years old on Tuesday. Schultz and Pasquale. You know them? Well, yes, they're depositors here. Well, they was going to bring a food for the party. But they changed their mind. I'm no one of disappointed the people. So I'm going to pay. Please, uh, Mr. Hudson. Well, Mr. Besco, this is very irregular. Even if I wanted to grant you this loan, what collateral do you have? Huh? <laughs> security. What security can you give us to insure the loan? Well, I'm just the one to make the people happy. They should all get to know each other. Making people happy? What kind of security is that? That's the biggest security I know. Mr. Vasco, our bank has been on Halstead Street for many years and... And... And what, Mr. Hudson? Well... By gosh, I think your block party is an excellent idea. I'll see to it that it goes on. Oh, Mr. Hudson, you going to give me the money? You go ahead with your party plans. All the food will be there. Oh, mamma mia. And don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm going to pay you back every penny. Please, are you coming to the party too? Well, I have an engagement Tuesday night, but I'll try to make it. Mr. Hudson, you're a fine man. And you make a wonderful automobile. Someday I buy one. <laughs> What a block of parties are gonna be. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. Wait. That's a wonderful dance. Luigi, you're a wonderful dancer. Isn't he, Esther? Yes, Luigi. How is it you should dance so good at Jewish dance? <laughs> well, I'm a think deep down underneath the feet, all the dances are the same. <laughs> hey, hello, it's I'm going to see you dance. I never see you dance before the Irish are real. You dance it better than O'Reilly. The Irish real. To me, that's the Russian Kazatsky with a bro. <laughs> Everybody. Hello, hello, Miss Spalding. Hello, 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 Mrs. Spalding. <laughs> what a wonderful party. And Mr. Basco, the food's delicious. Thank Mr. You. Schultz and Mr. Pasquale really fixed things up nicely, didn't they? <laughs> well, uh, uh, yes, they fixed the things. Uh, Miss Spalding, I would like to ask you a question, please. <laughs> what is it, Mrs. Harley? Well, my husband, uh, he's a good boy in school. He behaves himself. <laughs> 
Uh, well... Believe me, Esther, it's a pleasure to stay after school with Miss Spaulding. Why? <laughs> Uh, Mr. Schultz, uh, do you see Mrs. Pauly? Oh, there she is. Uh, well, uh, I, I did see Mr. Pasquale. He's been standing there behind that lamppost. I can't understand it. Excuse me, I'm going over and talk to him. <laughs> hey, Pasquale, why are you just standing there watching the people? I'm a got a right to watch. You walk along the stores, you go in the shopping. I'm a just a standing there watching the people. I'm a people of shopping. <laughs> Luigi, you ask me to look for someone. Look here what I found. Olsen, stop dragging me by the ear. I am not a cook of Spaniard. <laughs> Schultz, and a Pasquale, why you two no shake your hands and be friends? Oh, Schultz is here. I thought the wind was a shifting from the stockyards. <laughs> Somebody can say old radio jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I may come up from my own head. What head? The only thing you got between your ears is a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to Mr. Delicatessen. No, please, please, Schultz, Pasquale. It's a black party. Have a fun and a joy. Hey, Olsen, call Ralph De Angelis. Tell him to sing and we all start the bigger dance. Oh, there he is. Hey, Ralph! Yeah. Ralph, you start your song now. Ladies and gentlemen, hold the hands with whoever is standing next to you. And we're going to dance around the block. <laughs> Ready, go. Come on, hurry up. Push it out of squeeze the box. Schultz and Pasquale. You stand next to each other. Hold the hand. No, never. No, not with the hand. All right, then you both are holding my hand. the dance. Oh, it was wonderful, Luigi. <laughs> I found a friend. <laughs> I found That's right. We was just the two grown-ups acting like babies, eh? <laughs> yeah, but we're not acting like babies no more. Pasquale, I apologize for starting the fight with you. It's not <laughs> your fault, the Schultz. I was the one who's a star. What are you talking about? I was the one who's a star. <laughs> Schultz of Pasquale, you're starting to fight again. You're right, Luigi. You're right. I'm feeling so good at the night. Of... <laughs> Better than I ever thought. What is that? That's a fine, Pasquale. In fact, I'm feeling so good. I'm not even going to ask you to marry Rosa. Thank you, Pasquale. I'm going to let Rosa ask you herself. <laughs> Rosa! 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 You call me Rosa! <laughs> yes, you Rosa. Come here. Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> Well, Rosa, 
<laughs> Luigi's a feeling the good tonight, and now is the time of the pop of the question. Go ahead, Arosa, say it. <laughs> Luigi, you want to buy me some popcorn? Oh, God. <laughs> Get ready. We're going to dance again. Oh, Mr. Pasco. Mr. Hudson, you just to come here? Well, I got here in time to join that last dance. I enjoyed it very much, too. But I have to leave now, and before I go, I thought I'd give you these bills for the food. Oh, oh bills. Please, Mr. Hudson, I take this up for you to a bank tomorrow. I'd rather settle them now. Here they are. All right. Bill for $50 from... And the 50 Mr. Hudson... You bought all the food from Schultz and Pasquale. Now, wait a minute. I'm a little for shimmer here. <laughs> Mr. Hudson, you mean to say the food I sold you is being served here? Why, yes. Ah, oh, himmel. And I've been telling everybody how terrible it was. <laughs> well, I merely bought the food for Mr. Pasco. Rather than let this block party fall through, he undertook to pay for everything himself. I don't know what it shows. I'm going to pay you back. Every penny profit I'm going to make from my business is going to go to you until you get to your $50. That long I ain't going to live. <laughs> oh, you little dumb cop, Luigi. You don't owe me nothing. I'm happy to give you the food. And him, oh, it was delicious. <laughs> Sure, sir. That's, uh, that's And uh, uh, you, Mr. Pasquale, when do you want your bill paid? When a North the Halstead Street is 150 years old. Luigi, I think you're right. You keep your nose in your own plate. What do you get is a nose full of gravy. <laughs> oh, oh, Pasquale. You think I'm going to take the money from you, you little pumpkin head? <laughs> well, come on, Luigi. Let's start the dance again, eh? Luigi, don't just stand there like that. Hey, Luigi. Oh, hey, Luigi, use my handkerchief. Mm. That's the second handkerchief in the room for me. And so, Mamma Mia, today was the happiest day of my life. You should see all of these people who's living on the same street for so long, and it's the first time they stop to say hello to each other. It's to give everybody good feeling. One of man, he's an encyclopedia salesman. He's to get to like me so much, he's to give me the first book of free. Now, all I'm going to do is buy the other 19. <laughs> Mamma Mia. I can just see how you would give your biggest smile to see all those different people dancing together. People who first come from Ireland, Poland, Russia, France, Germany, Italy, all mixed together. Was it like international mix, Master? <laughs> and when Schultz and Pasquale hold the hands and become friends, everybody was so happy. Mamma mia. Wouldn't it be wonderful if all the nations, they have a big parties and they hold their hands all around the world? Instead of making a bigger blockbusters, they think how to make a bigger block of parties. Well, good night, Mamma Mia. Tonight, I'm asleep for good. Your loving son, Luigi Pasco, a little immigrant. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. Jake Carroll Nash is starred as Luigi Vasco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, and Mary Ship as Miss Baldwin. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Now stay tuned for another session with It Pays to be Ignorant, which follows immediately over most of these same CBS stations. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, where 99 million people gather every week for the Columbia Broadcasting System.